I am Technical Sergeant Metz, and I am the NCOIC of the Small Unmanned Aerial Surveillance Team. So our primary focus is really defending the base and the convoy's assets against rogue drones. It could have killed everyone on the stage or dozens of civilians nearby if it missed. The crowd scattered and Venezuelans began to wonder what really happened. Was it a fake? Even now... The Secondarily, we're what we call a blue force sort of drone team. So um, we fly US-1, we fly the Instant Eye Gen 4 um, in support of force protection efforts, uh, getting situational awareness over scenes. We can respond to car accidents, we can respond to active shooter situations. Essentially any situation where you might want eyes in the sky, we can be there and we can be there at a moment's notice. Yes, yeah, so the drone buster is this, this right here, pretty much you turn it on, you're able to jam either the C2 link, which is your video link, and or GPS with that as well. So essentially these are super user friendly. All you gotta do is turn it from off to C2 GPS, that's gonna ruin the GPS link and the C2 video link. From there you just point at the drone and pull the trigger. And... And then our video feed is yeah. just frozen. It's frozen in place. So even if I try to move the drone, that, I can't do anything. Because it's being targeted by that? Yes. Landing. So now, I guess because the signal is strong enough, because he's so close, it's actually just gonna, it might just land itself. So when this happens, drones either do two or three things. They'll return to home and land. They'll climb to an altitude, stay there, or they'll just go straight down wherever they were, so. That's pretty much it, that drone went down. My favorite part of the job is definitely flying. I love flying, we have a lot of different systems here to fly, and uh, it's just a blast to get out there and fly around. On a day-to-day -day basis, uh, so whenever there's a convoy, we do that, but when we're not supporting a convoy, uh, we're really kind of a future-facing organization. We're very unique across security forces, specifically at this base, um, in that we partner with a lot of small businesses outside to really look at what are the most innovative things coming down the pipes in terms of UAS and counter UAS. I think our shop is important to the nuclear mission in general because the drone has been referred to as the IED of the 21st century. It can be anywhere at any time. Anybody can learn to fly them. They're incredibly inexpensive. I can go buy a $90 drone off of Newegger Amazon right now and I can start watching convoys. And other things that we do on a day to day, we train, so we fly the drones around. Um, we maintain the systems that we have here. And really, we just research like what's coming down the pipes, what, what is the potential next threat? It's an evolving environment. Uh, there's always new technology coming down, so we really have to stay one step ahead of what that technology is, and that's what we try to do here.